If I had a home, I so would say so glad. Well, certainly a complaint we hear often these days, the homeless setting up camp right in the middle of neighborhoods. In tonight's City in Crisis report, a homeless woman says the neighbors are making her life miserable. I went out to the neighborhood to find out what's happening. It's a festering divide between housed neighbors and those who live on the streets. Okay, what you want is it in? In one Southeast Portland neighborhood, it's on full display. Yeah, I stay here. So, yeah, this is when I say I'm coming home, this is where I come to. So, yeah, I'm part of So, you just parked the fucking trailer in front of somebody's fucking home? You asshole. You're an asshole, bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, this is when I say I'm coming home, this is where I come to. So, yeah, I'm part of the neighborhood. I'm a neighbor. This is Samantha. Melungeon. Come here. Definitely a Melungeon. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, that's a Melungeon right there. Oh, Melungeon, man. You fucking bitch. You <laughs> goddamn, <laughs> goddamn Melungeon. Look at this fucking layout they got. You can tell these people take care of their shit. You can't just, you got to take care of this. You got to um, maintain that. Um, and this bitch just pulls up in a fucking trailer. It's like, I live here now. In front of your fucking house. Most people don't like when somebody parks in front of their fucking house. Let alone fucking lives there. A fucking old, fat-ass, dirty melungeon. This is Samantha. Come here. Come see mama. She lives in this trailer with her two cats right on the street corner. Hi. Hey, mommy, Bobby. It's a quiet neighborhood, aside from the occasional coyote appearance. Is that a coyote? Yes, it is. Here, watch your cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Samantha has been parked here with the trailer and two other vehicles for about five months. She claims from... So she's got three... She just parks in front of your house with three fucking vehicles. Oh, that's so shit. And, and you just got to deal with that shit. Well, they got and they asked for it, so fuck them. You got to walk, out, walk outside... Got the kids with you. You see this fucking Melungeon chilling. Crazy, Some bullshit, man. man. This is this is yeah, this is bullshit. Fuck this woman, man. She trying to play the victim. <laughs> Fuck her. Yeah, she trying to play the victim. In Portland, she is the victim. From the get go, some neighbors yeah. have made it clear she's not welcome. And somebody came up to my door and stood on the outside of the door for a long time. And he was just standing there. And then he goes, I want you out of here. I was like, dude, I just got here. He's like, well, we don't want your kind in our neighborhood. And oh. I was like, no. I'm on the street, dude. I'm not doing anything to you. You don't even know me. He's like, I don't want to know you. Like, and she claims passersby toss dog feces at her trailer. And then the other day she heard voices outside. And then I, they were right outside the trailer, and he goes, when you got to go, you got to go. And I was like, that's a weird thing to say, you know? And he goes, haven't you ever jumped out of the car, um, your car and peed on the side of the road? And then I heard, like, water. And dude peed on my car in the middle of the day. He peed on my car, dude. Oh, shit. Who does that? These are people who are housed, and I'm supposed to be the one that's messed up? One neighbor I spoke with off camera said their neighborhood is especially sensitive after having to deal with another homeless person who lived nearby and became aggressive and violent. Another neighbor offered yeah, to meet with me to outline their concerns with Samantha, Yo, but later so changed their mind. I think person. they're all different. Michael Sliman Living lives across the street. He's been here for a homeless person who lived nearby and became aggressive and violent. Another neighbor offered to meet with me to outline their concerns with Samantha but later changed their mind. I think they're all different. Michael Sliman lives across the street. He's been here for 27 years. He loves the neighborhood, even if Samantha's trailer isn't exactly aesthetically pleasing. It's not like a rich person's neighborhood, but everybody goes to work and comes back no, and you, you know works in their yard. So, you know, it doesn't look great, but it doesn't really it doesn't look If you great. allow one, you're going to have five. Exactly, you fucking moron. Let's look at his face. He doesn't believe this. Look at his facial expression. No, yard. So, you know, it doesn't look great, but it doesn't really bother me. Um, and where's her man? How does she have all that and there's not some freeloading dirtbag dude living with her? Yeah. I would expect it to be a sun man over there somewhere. There's going to be one. And then when he comes, you got to deal with that. Shit. <laughs> That's 
crazy. <laughs> this is sad, man. These people fucking and and this is and, and they gotta act woke because their whole like existence is woke. And this yeah. is some woke shit, so they gotta they can't like deviate from the woke shit. They can't just tell the truth that they hate this shit. They gotta send a Gavin Newsom up there to chase her off. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a sun man over there soon, dropping yep. some Harambe dick off in that unwashed malignant. <laughs> Probably when the rain starts. In that unwashed yeah. malignant uh, box. Yeah, man. And she gonna and she gonna really get bro when her sun man come over there because she gonna know she got some backup. Sun man will throw his life away for trying to back this bitch up. Um, that much. So I got the shade from the tree, <clears throat> and uh, nobody parks here, so I'm not in anybody's way or anything like that. Samantha says she'd like to find permanent housing and has applied several times. She tells us she fell on hard times when she had a medical issue that cost her jobs. She understands why neighbors aren't thrilled with large homeless encampments. I mean, I got the dashboard where you can see homeless people and their cleanups and all that on my phone and there was the you know big rvs with huge huge messes out here and they had to come out and clean up and stuff like that but i'm not like that you know i mean i don't have dogs that are attacking people or anything like that i keep to myself and i work Can you imagine if somebody pulled up in front of your house with a trailer and had a dog that was attacking you or your kids yeah i would fucking shoot that person man <laughs> Damn, that's kind of cold. Think about that, though. Now, think about that. Somebody just pulls up in front of your fucking house with a trailer and they live there. And all the shit that comes with that. And then now they got a dog that's attacking you and shit. They pay a lot of money to live on that street. And then someone rolls up with this for free and just makes an encampment in front of your house. No. Yeah, that's unacceptable. It's totally yeah, unacceptable. Okay. I know these people, Texas, sky high. Yeah, this, this is this it's is not even fun. it's not even pretty. It's just if it was neat, maybe, but it's not even neat. No, I wouldn't care if this woman pulled up in a fucking Maybach trailer. Get the <laughs> fuck from in front of my house, bitch. <laughs> and I'm trying to go forward from where I'm at, and they're not making it that easy. Ock, that's she when you got to pay a son man to come and chase her off. You know, a white guy walks out of his house and starts talking trash to this woman. She just calls the cops. They, you know, they deal with him. A son man comes out and says, get the fuck from in front of my house. They'll move because they know that son man might be just be crazy enough to, you know, fire into their trailer. Yeah, set that bitch on fire. So you pay a son man to come chase her off. Yeah, do that. Well, not even have to pay. Some of course, then he kills her, and you're, you're you're responsible for what some crazy That's son true. man did. That's true. That's true. That's true. Eggs her for removal. She'll be gone. In the meantime, she's hoping to keep the peace with her neighbors, wishing they'd understand her plight while she keeps this in mind. If you're going to be outside, you know, and try to do something better with your life. Don't make a huge mess or, or make a nuisance of yourself or whatever. That's not cool. We checked on the homeless dashboard. It appears the city did do a check of Samantha's campsite as recently as two weeks ago, although it doesn't appear to be on the top of their list for removal. Do you have a... Wow. Yeah. Uh, they, wow. they're going to have to make... They're gonna have to make I'm, them work. Get them bitch out of there. I'm surprised.